University of Vermont professor and exercise physiologist Declan Conley and world-renowned running coach Roy Benson recently co-authored a book titled Heart Rate Training. The book is based on Conley's 20-plus years of research as director of UVM's Human Performance Lab and Benson's 40 years of coaching and experience as an exercise scientist. The purpose of the book was clearly educational. We wanted to take the simple concept of heart rate training, which interestingly is about the only uh, variable that you can take from a lab and apply outside. I mean, heart rate monitoring has been around for a long time. But a couple of things that we specifically look at in the book are you know the advancement in the technology that now moves from just simply looking at the heart rate monitor to programming the monitor with zones and audible signals to tell you when you're going too fast or too slow. When I was coaching at Florida, we had the Florida Track Club guys that were doing so well. You know, He's Frank Shorter yeah. won the gold medal. Jack Batchelor was ninth in the same marathon, and Jeff Galloway was in the ten thousand. Um, I was counting heartbeats with the finger in the six-second count. The lab is first and foremost a research. Uh, facility and you know, from I've, I've spent 15 to 20 years really looking at uh, muscle function, muscle performance, muscle recovery specifically during sport. And then in the you know mid 1990s, I had written some articles on the specificity of training athletes and training athletes smart. And at the time, I had started working with the uh, New York Rangers in the National Hockey League. And specifically, we started to look at that the athletes were actually too fit in certain parameters and not fit enough in parameters that we felt were more important for a hockey player. And so, you know, we had Mark Messier, Theo Fleury, um, Wayne Gretzky come through for evaluations. And way back then, it, we ended up rewriting protocols for the way in which you know, those athletes trained. So this test has taken place in the, Pat the Human Performance Lab, which is in the basement of the Patrick Gym Gymnasium. And this, this young uh, guy, uh, Interestingly, is a is a Vermonter, um, and he has just signed a professional contract with Garmin Slipstream, which is one of the biggest and most successful professional bike teams in the country. You'll also notice in the background there we got a couple of students. Uh, one of those students is an undergraduate, uh, Jack Bates, in uh, physical education, and the other is Lauren Goddard, a graduate student in in the physical education. And so we like to bring the students in and uh, get them some experience with testing and, and these procedures. And what we're doing now is we're, we're putting this headpiece on basically as a support, they're gonna wear a mouthpiece and there's a little bit of weight to it. And so we, we, we put this in really to make it more comfortable uh, for the athlete. And uh, what, we, what we do here is we measure the expired gases. So in other words, everything that the athlete breathes out. We know what they're breathing in because we measure the gas concentrations in the lab before they start for uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide. And by collecting the gases that the athlete expires, we get a, a model for not only efficiency but energy production. And by energy production, we really mean whether they're burning fat versus carbohydrate for the fuel source. Yeah. When it comes to training, most people overtrain. They go too fast, too hard. So yeah. the heart monitor can really help that way. Yeah. It can give you that proof that, no, this is today's workout. You're in the right zone. Don't worry about your pace. And so the book specifically talks about the value of heart rate. It teaches you how to monitor it, what to expect, what kind of adaptations and change you're looking for. So it really takes you through this educational process from opening the heart rate monitor box how to put it on, how to track it, how to record it. What we're trying to do is disseminate the knowledge that people can train smarter. It always boils down to the same thing. Yeah. Don't train harder, train smarter. He actually put in his brick beneath a little wage black, so... <laughs>